Creating an expense report in SFS using My Wallet. An expense report is a tool employees use to be reimbursed for travel or other out-of-pocket expenses and account for state travel card transactions. It is recommended best practice to create, submit, and account for travel card transactions on an expense report in SFS within 10 days of completed travel. All travel card transactions for the traveler will be loaded in My Wallet via a periodic feed from the credit card company. From the My Wallet page, you can select transactions and apply them to expense reports as necessary. The fields are populated with values from the copied expense report. You can update the data as necessary to create a new expense report. Click SFS Applications. Click SFS Financials. Click Employee Self-Service. Click Expense Report under Employee T&E Center. Click Create. Collapse the menu pagelet by clicking the Minimize button. This action gives a larger screen for better viewing. This is the Expense Report Entry page. It is used to create and submit expense reports. The Quick Start list allows you to select the most efficient creation method. Click the Quick Start drop-down arrow. For this purpose, select Entries from My Wallet. Click Go. This is the My Wallet page. All your travel card transactions will be loaded here via a periodic feed from your credit card company. From this page, you can select transactions and apply them to expense reports as necessary. Note that the detailed information of My Wallet transactions can only be viewed and cannot be modified. In My Wallet, SFS will assign expense types to each credit card transaction in the Expense Type column. At times, however, SFS may not be able to match the expense type. In these cases, SFS will assign an expense type of unspecified. If you wish to bring a credit card transaction into your expense report that is unspecified, you must first click the unspecified link and assign the transaction the correct expense type. Click the expense type for items of the specific trip that apply to the expense report you are completing. If correct, proceed. If it is incorrect or unspecified, click to alter. Choose the expense type from the drop-down arrow. Click Select for all of the items of your specified trip. Click the Done button at the bottom of the page. As you can see, the charges selected from your wallet have been brought into your expense report. Click in the Description field. The description should be specific enough so that the expense report can be identified quickly. The field has a 30 character limit. Click in the Comment field. Enter the justification or purpose of the trip. Additional comments can be added to this field. Choose your business purpose. Click the drop-down arrow. Here is where you will select your purpose of travel. The reference field can be used for agency references as necessary. This is an optional field. Click in the DOB approval code field. If a DOB approval code was obtained for this trip, it must be entered in the DOB approval code field. The default location is where you traveled. Type in the state's two-letter designation in the first few letters of the city you visited. Click at the magnifying glass. Note that the BSC may deny your expense report if this field is not populated. Select the correct location. Based on the default location selected, per diem amounts auto-populate and hotel rates will be validated. If travel is out of state, click this box. The official station field will be used to identify the location that you are officially assigned to regardless of work location. Note that the information in this field will auto-populate based on your employee profile. 
the work location field is used to identify an alternate work site if not working from your official station. Enter your travel start date by clicking on the calendar next to the from field. Enter your travel end date by clicking on the calendar next to the To field. Click the From and To box to enter your normal work hours. Note that time can be entered in 24-hour format or 12-hour format, followed by AM, PM. Note that the BSC may deny your expense report if any of these fields are not populated. Click on Accounting Defaults. The Accounting Defaults page displays the chart field coding for the traveler. Some or all of the necessary fields may auto-populate. Verify the coding is correct or alter as necessary. If you are unsure of the coding, check with your budget office. Click OK. The billing type, while containing an asterisk, does not have any functionality. Click the detail link individually for each line. It is recommended to click the detail link for every expense entered. There may be additional required information for the item that can only be entered via the detail link. Enter the appropriate information for the starred items. Note that the fields that appear on this page can be different based on the expense type. Click Check Expense for Errors. This Check Expense for Errors button will check only this expense for possible errors. Then click Return to Expense Report. Your wallet charges are now complete. If any other expenses were incurred, add them at this time in the same manner. If you have run out of lines, you can add a line. Click the Add Rows button. Enter the number of rows to add. Click OK. Click the Expense Type drop-down arrow corresponding to your next expense. All available expense types are listed here. Find the appropriate selection of your expense. Click the item. Enter the expense date and the amount spent. Click the Payment Type drop-down arrow corresponding to the expense. There are three available payment types. AP Prepaid, which indicates an account payable voucher, will be used to pay the merchant. Personal Funds, which indicates an out-of-pocket expense. And Travel Card, which indicates the use of your travel card. Click the Detail link corresponding to the expense. As noted previously, the Expense Detail page allows you to enter additional information about a particular expense. Fill in the description fields as needed. Click the Check Expense for Errors button. Then click Return to Expense Report. After entering all expenses, click Check for Errors. This action will check for errors for the whole report. Click Update Totals. Click Save for Later. After you've clicked Save for Later, the computer will automatically generate a 10-digit report ID number. This will be your reference number for the expense report you have created. Click Attachments. All of your receipts for the trip must be attached to the expense report via a scanned document. Click Add Attachment. Click Browse. Click Upload. If complete, click OK.
click Submit. When the Submit button is clicked, the expense report is saved, set to Budget Check, and submitted into the Agency Approval Workflow. Click OK. The last screen allows the traveler to view the expense report just submitted.